Okay, you guys, let's uh, continue on with learning about different transition effects that we can do in Final Cut. Um, I get asked a lot, how do you uh, make it look like a flash and then freeze frame into a black and white picture? Because a lot of people want to do this sort of thing for like a documentary or just sort of like a cool effect in a narrative. Um, so let me show you how to do that. First thing we're wa we'll want to do is figure out where in the scene we want to make that flash happen and then have it uh, go into a freeze frame. So let's say we want to do it there. What we do is we take our little razor blade tool and we slice this up. Now we also need to make a freeze frame. So you can do that by going to modify, make freeze frame. And there we have our freeze frame right there. And then I'm going to, oops, not go backwards, go forwards. And I'm just going to bring this freeze frame into the clip. That's a little too much for my taste, but we'll just shrink it down just a little bit. Okay, so now we have the effect where we're going along and then it freezes. So we're halfway there. To make the flash, well, let's actually make the black and white first. Um, what I want it to do is actually like, like kind of fade into black and white. Um, so let's do that. What we could do is go shift, and I'm going to uh, bring this up, holding down the shift button as you move uh, your timeline or your little clip up. Make sure that it stays in the same place. Um, so I'm gonna actually first. I'm gonna before I do that. I'm going to Command C to copy, and then Shift and drag this up, and then Command V to paste. Now I have two clips, one on top of the other. My top clip, I'm going to go to Video Filters, Color Correction. I'll just throw the Color Corrector 3-way on there so I can make adjustments as I need. And I'm just going to bring the saturation down all the way to zero. And if you want, you could do like partial saturation, but that works for now. Um, now what we can do is use our pen tool and remember if you don't have these black lines on your clip make sure you click on this little, I call it the mountain tool, it's the toggle clip overlays button right here. Make sure that's selected so that you can put on a fade. So now we have this cool effect where we're going along and then it becomes black and white. That alone is pretty interesting. Nothing wrong with that. But I want to, I'm going to click N to drag my, my cursor. I want to make that flash. So let's go to the video transitions. And we're going to go to dissolve. And we're going to use the additive dissolve. Let's see how this looks. Notice it had a little delay. That's because, um, well, you'll see. We need to adjust where we're going to place this. Um, ending on the edit is might be a good idea. Actually, it's not going to work for us. So that, that's an interesting effect that is perfectly doable, but we're going to find that putting in a colored matte is actually going to give us the effect that we want. So let's see how it looks so far. The colored matte is going to work out a lot better. So let's um, go click on our little, uh, it's that little A right here, and we're going to bring up our matte color. And in the controls, I'm going to select white. And we just need really a few frames. Really one frame ought to do it. That's too, too much. Wait, 
that's just one frame. That's good. Throw in our additive dissolve. I'm just going to shrink it down, and I'm going to throw in the additive dissolve again. Shrink it down. Let's see what we get. So that's definitely a flash. For my taste, though, it, it stays up too long. I might shrink it down to just one frame instead of two frames of white. Then we want to play around with it. So you can see there's lots of different versions of this that you could do. And it's basically just the clip, an additive dissolve to a frame of white, then another additive dissolve, and then we threw a black and white uh, image on top of this freeze frame, and we've created that kind of flash photography look. And if you use a boom boom sound, when that flash occurs, it can be really dramatic, you know, with some dramatic music. See it again, let's make sure we like it. Cool. So that is how to make that flash photography type of look. And then we'll, um, we'll do, I think we'll do a little uh, soft focus dissolve-y feeling for our next video.